Ashley with At Home with Ashley and today I have a fun DIY for you. So I was watching Architectural Digest and the girl was wearing the most amazing rainbow hat. I'll show you in a second, but it's a $1,700 hat. I can't afford that, but I can afford $35 in supplies. So let's make that together. It'll be so fun. Start by steaming the hat. Mine came in the mail super crumpled. I couldn't find my steamer, so I used the steam function on my iron to get the hat back to its original shape. For the supplies for this project, I used 16 colors of embroidery floss. Figure out the spacing for each color. On my hat, it worked out to allow for 1 and 3 fourths inches for 16 colors. Use a water soluble marker and a ruler to mark the spaces. Make sure to make sure the marker comes off before using it on the hat. And now mark where the stitches should end. Use the same marker and a sewing gauge to create a line along the inside perimeter of the hat so the stitches can start and end at the same point. It's things like this that'll make it look super professional. Finally, it's time to start stitching. Cut a strand of embroidery thread. I like to find the loose end at the top of the package and pull it gently so that the packaging stays on. This prevents the floss from becoming one big knot. I pulled five arm lengths of string and that was usually enough for one color. Make a knot in the end of the embroidery thread. No, I didn't thin out the floss. I used all six strands that make it up. Start the first stitch at the bottom of the hat closest to the inside. This is the place where the knot will be the least visible. Then keep stitching with that color. Make the stitches a random length and ensure that they always end on the marked line. After the color has filled the allotted space, tie a knot and cut off any excess embroidery floss. Try to be as neat as possible since the knot might be visible. No, each color took me about 15 minutes to stitch. This meant that the whole hat took about four hours. I did mine in two days, but it could definitely be enjoyed over a longer period, especially since my fingers hurt from pushing so hard through the felt over and over. This is a slow project. To clean up, use a damp rag to mark, get off any of the blue marker. And here's how the hat turned off. I love it. I want to show you the bottom too. You can see the knots, but when it's on, I don't think it's that obvious. The hat is happy and for being a rainbow, it's subtle and sweet. 